Hey, so today's day 28 of my 30 days of React Challenge, and today I have set up a simple Mern stack backend, which I will eventually connect with a React frontend for a sort of notes, post-it note type app. Loads of like Mern stack backend app generators out there, but I just wanted to write one myself from scratch so I truly understand um, how they work and how they connect. Um, so MERN, I guess first, M stands for MongoDB, which is your database. We have E, which stands for Express, which is a framework um, which we use with Node.js. We have um, R, which stands for React, of course, which we will be adding, which we'll add in the next video, um, like for the front end. And N stands for Node.js, which is um, which allows like JavaScript to be used server side. Um, all right, taking a look at my code. Um, I'm going to do the demo after I've kind of explained a few things. Um, since we don't have a front end yet, you'll see this is very blank and boring, unlike my last projects. Um, I'm not going to explain my server.js um, file. As you can see, I've made a lot of notes and research, but if I was to explain this myself and go through everything, it would just take ages. So this will be my GitHub. If you want to kind of read through, see how it works, and read all my notes, then please feel free to do so. Instead, I'm just going to jump straight into my notes folder here, which is where I've got all of my HTTP requests um, for communicating with my backend. Find um, collect, like, uh, returning data, posting data, and deleting data from my database. The top here, where requests where um, requiring a few things we need, um, which is, of course, Express and Express Router. Um, what we're doing next is declaring a variable called note, which actually references our schema, which is like the structure that we want our data or our notes to have when we create them and add them to the database. So if we jump over here to Node.js, which we are um, requiring here, you'll see I have my mongoose schema set up and it's very simple if we're creating like a new schema for a note all we need is two um, two kind of data points one is content which is a string so like a phrase um, which is required so like without this the database isn't going to deal with that information isn't going to log it and also a date which we're just simply returning a date dot now using kind of javascript inbuilt um, methods the first um, HTTP request we have here is .get, which returns all of the data we have in our database at the moment. I've already added a few notes to the database, so if we jump up here and um, type that route in, we're going to see it returns like a bunch of JavaScript options, um, objects which are which are the data. Um, which are the objects I've already put into our database. Obviously with the front end, you can make it look nice, you return that data however you want, but at the moment I'm just returning it, you'll see here, as a JSON file. And the other one I need to mention is our um, home route here. So when, when we're just getting like slash, like our root domain, we're not actually accessing our database, we're just printing hello so now will be a Mern stack app. For you post and delete requests, I need to use Postman, which is a program that allows you to kind of communicate and play around with your database, um, send kind of pretend HTTP requests, etc. Um, so first of all, let's try out doing a post request. So if we look down here at my post request, um, we can see the root, the domain for that is just our root domain. So if we jump over here, I'm just going to take back notes. I'm going to switch this to a post domain. And I'm also going to add something to my list. And I've, you kind of have to type this out yourself, but I've typed out a object, which is just content um, by cheese. So let's add that to our database. Send. And. It's coming back, which means that it was accepted now and added to our database because I've asked it to show us here, we see. If it saves, then we want it to return a JSON object showing us. Now if we go to notes and do a get request, we'll see 
that that item by cheese has been added to our database. Okay, last one is just to demonstrate um, a delete. So what we need, if we look here, we can see that what we're using to delete the item is we're finding it by ID. So let's jump over here, copy the idea of ID of the item we want to delete. Um, check the route is slash ID, so we need no, we need to add that on as a param here. Switch this to delete, and now fingers crossed, send. It's saying success true, which I asked it to return as a JSON object if the item was um, successfully deleted. Now, if we look at notes again, switch back to get, send. We should only have so the item. What was it? I can't remember. What it was, like wash, wash the cat has been re has been um, deleted from the database. That's plenty enough for this project. Um, my next video, I will be adding the front end onto this, um, which is actually the React part, since we actually didn't use any React in this. Um, and until then, thanks.